couple of reasons. ADSB is a way to make you safe. So anything you can do to make your flying experience safer is a good thing. ADSB, ADSB out, which is the the simplest part of the system, allows the FAA and air traffic control to see where you are, to follow you, and to know where you are with great precision all the time. So if something should happen, something goes wrong, then search and rescue can contact the FAA and they can provide them immediately with information about where the aircraft was, one second position reports. So rescue time becomes much shorter, much faster. That same information that the FAA is receiving from you, it's also sending to all the aircraft around you. So, so as you're transmitting your position, other aircraft in the area are getting from the FAA a picture of where you are. So it's becoming much safer for you to operate everyone can see you and know who you are. So being part of the surveillance system is, is very important and ADSB gives the FAA much more information than the current um, transponder-based systems give them. That, that's the first reason. Secondly, if you're equipped with ADSB in as well as ADSB out, that means you can receive information onto the aircraft. Then you'll receive from the FAA traffic that we talked about before. You'll get traffic of all the all aircraft around you, everyone they can see, radar traffic, ADSB traffic, doesn't matter if they're equipped with ADSB or not, you'll get to see them as part of the FAA traffic broadcast. And uh, if you select the 978 frequency, you'll also receive uh, free weather service and other flight information from the FAA. So you'll have situational awareness in the cockpit, you'll have traffic around you, you'll have weather around you, and, and that weather information is scaled depending on how high you are and how fast you're going, so it's relevant weather for you. And you'll have that information available to you. So you have a complete traffic system on board the aircraft. You can see other aircraft, other aircraft can see you, the FAA can see you, and you've got a full picture of the weather. So you're operating in a much safer way than you're operating without it. Now for all this to happen, there has to be infrastructure in place from the FAA. And uh, as of now, and, and now is June 2011, and as of now, most of the country that people fly in has this F ADSB system available, deployed, and it's projecting and presenting the weather and traffic information that we talked about, and it's tracking you. Uh, by the end of this year, just about the whole country will be covered. So from the, the point of view of, of, is the infrastructure there for you to get the benefit? The answer is yes. And does it matter if you're the first person in your, your airspace to equip? No, it doesn't matter. You get full benefit day one, first time you equip. Don't have to wait for anybody else because of the way the FAA manages the, the information. So you get benefit immediately. Also, from a stability and requirement point of view, and we have to worry about that. This is an FAA program, and, and requirements can shift under FAA programs. Then the timing is good also. In 2010, the FAA published all the final rules for equipment standards and installation standards. So there's no surprises. Everybody knows what, uh, what equipment should look like and how it needs to be installed and how it should work. And the FAA, once those, they publish those final rules, it's very difficult for them to change it. And uh, there is no sign that they're going to change the rules going forward. So the requirements are stable. Everything's been published. It took them years to get to that point, but they're there now. The infrastructure's in place and you get benefit. The second you equip, you start to get the benefit. So ADSB today means you're safer today.